guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be part two of my makeup collection. In the last video, we went over my everyday makeup stash, which sits over here, like on top of my desk. I basically keep my main collection in two different drawers. So this is one of the two drawers. As you can see, I don't have the Alex drawers everyone seems to have. I have like big normal drawers and this is how I store my makeup. In this drawer, we basically have everything from lips to eyes to face. So everything except uh, eyeshadow palettes, face palettes, as well as glitters. Okay, so this is the first little container I took out. On the right, we have mostly base products. I honestly don't have enough concealers or foundations or sprays to like dedicate an entire section to them. So they basically all live together in here. The first product we have in the front is my Linda Hallberg Infinity Glass. It's actually a multi-use gloss that you can use either on face, on eyes, or on lips if you want to. I've never used it on the lips though because if I want a lip gloss I'll just reach for a normal lip gloss formula. Next I've got a few primers. I have my Too Faced Hangover in here. It's not my favorite anymore. It used to be but I kind of grew out of it. Uh, my skin became drier so I now need more moisture than this can ever bring me. I also have the Smashbox Primerizer and lastly I do have the Spotlight Primer by Physicians Formula. This is so intensely illuminating you guys. It's insane. Like I don't wear that often because it's so intense. I guess we'll go through concealers next. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless Concealer and it's awful. Honestly, I hate the formula of it. Um, it's just so crepey and thick. The literal opposite of flawless as it's called. But the reason I keep it is because it's the lightest concealer in my collection. I do own the Tarte Shape Tape. It's not my favorite concealer ever, but it's definitely like an amazing matte concealer formula. I have tried quite a few over the years and this is definitely the best I've tried. Next is my L'Oreal Blur Concealer. I remember being like 15 and wearing this one all the time and swearing by it. As you can see, I really don't own that many foundations. I only have two more to show you apart from the ones I showed you in the last video, the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. And then we have this one, which has the worst dropper in the history of droppers. This is the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. I have my Smashbox Primer Water, which as you can see, I have used a ton. We have the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, and then we have some matte setting sprays. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter. I actually do see a difference when I spray this on my face with the longevity of my makeup. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish, and I also own the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay, now getting into stuff I'm more excited to talk about, because honestly this side, it's not like something I'm super hyped about, it's just base products. Now we're getting into highlighters. First off, we have this highlighter from Kaleidos. This is their multi-chrome one called Prophecy. I think something is wrong with my compact though, because it's so hard to open. This is insanely beautiful. I now get the hype. Next, we've got this Too Faced highlight in the shade Blinded by the Light. It's just a soft, glowy like cool tone champagne. Then we've got a true silver highlight. This is one of my favorite highlights in my collection because it's so unique. This is the shade Platinum Angel from Beauty Bar Baby. It's icy but not too icy. It actually looks really flattering on the skin. Then I've got this Becca highlighter in the shade Lilac Geo. Next is this KVD Metal Crush. One of the best, if not the best, glittery highlight formula I've ever tried. I also own one highlighter from Give Me Glow. This is the shade Halo. This is a duochrome from a light blue to yellow. Next, I have two highlighters from MAC. We've got Beaming Blush, and this one is Oh Darling. And I believe this is the last highlighter in my collection. It's from Wet n Wild, and it's called The Sweetest Bling. Okay, I lied. I thought this was a bronzer, but it's actually a highlight as well. This is from Morphe, and it's called Lit. And I also have this ambient lighting powder from Hourglass in the shade Diffused Light. Okay, so I just quickly want to mention a few products that I don't store in my actual containers, because they don't really fit anymore, since my containers are so full. We've got my Lime Crime Body Lights, Enchantress, and Lunar. These are insane. Just so ethereal and fairy-like. These are also from Lime Crime. They're the liquid highlights. We've got Pink Glaze and Blue Ice. In this next little container, we have 
blushes and bronzers and over here eyeliners. I have this blush from Giordana in the shade Fruit Punch. Next product is from Moira Cosmetics. It's their Sunflower Beauty Blush Duo. On the inside you actually have super unique shades. You've got a yellow as well as a red. I also own three Super Shock Cheeks from Colourpop. My favorite is definitely this one which is called Cheerio. Next is this cute coral called Never Been Kissed and this really cool purple one is called Rain. I also own three more of the Lion Crime Software blushes. As I mentioned in my last video, most of them live in my everyday makeup stash but I do keep a few in here. This bright orange is called Firewall. This is dark web and this last one is one of the glowy blushes which is called virtual orchid i have this urban decay blush in the shade bittersweet next is this glowy blush from elf this is a stunning blush but i'm honestly not sure in what shade it is because i ordered the one called peach something i don't remember the exact name but when i got it like the tag on the back says brilliant mauve so i'm not sure if the tag is wrong or if the shade they sent me is wrong. This is a melt blush and it's called Genesis. It's a bit of a regret purchase for me because I don't use the shade nearly as much as I should. Like, it's gorgeous, but I just, I don't find myself reaching for it. I think it's just a little bit too thin for my taste. Next is this Cover FX Blush Duo in the shade Pink Dahlia. This matte side is amazing, like such a good, blendable formula. Okay, we're getting into bronzer slash contour. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their bronzing powder in the shade Rich Amber. So we've got this Brontour from Morphe in the shade Frenemy. And last but not least, in the back I have my Chocolate Gold Soleil bronzer. This one has microscopic gold shimmers throughout, especially in summer. That's when I reach for a lot. dropping everything. Let's first go through my ColourPop liners because I, as you can see, have a ton of those. I have Icebreaker, Electric Daisy, Punch, Puppy. This one is Boots. I think it's called Piggy Bank, the purple. This one is Amethyst Hour and the white one is called Exit. I next have these by LA Girl. This one is called Gotcha. We've got Fresh, which is so lovely. Screaming, the brightest neon yellow ever. And this one is actually one of their lip liners. I don't know what it is with the LA Girl lip liners that it's so universally accepted that we can put them in the waterline. I do own two eyeliners from Marc Jacobs. I think these are overpriced, honestly. I have them now, so I'm gonna use them up or at least use them until they die. The dark blue shade is called Out of the Blue and the turquoise is called Whirlpool. I have the silvery liner from NYX that's called Platinum. This is such a lovely formula. Can you see that? It's just so creamy. I also have this eyeliner from the Sephora brand in the shade Fairy Tale. And in the back here, I have my KVD brow pomades. I originally bought these with the intention of using them as brow product, but I quickly found out that this kind of product does not work for the strong brows I naturally have. If I tried to build this up enough so that the color shows on my dark, thick brows, it ends up looking like a literal cakey mess. I still keep these around though, mostly for eyeliner. This one is called Roxy Purple. This one is Scarlet. Satellite Blue. This is such a cool color. And last we have Lemmy Green. In this next little container on the right, as you can see, we have lots of mascaras as well as liquid liners and on the left side here we have both single shadows as well as liquid shadows as you can see i have quite the collection of colorful ColourPop mascaras this one is left on red not nearly pigmented enough it takes so many coats for it to show up but it is the only red mascara i own i've got the white one called little white lie this one is called purple pros blue ya mine this one is my favorite it's called yellow goodbye the puns on these are so bad and last we've got this one called kiss and teal do you see how gorgeous this color is it matches my wall perfectly. Next are my Lime Crime Astronomical Mascaras. This one is called 51 and it's such a cool like neon green. I think the black is called Supernova. Am I wrong? I'm not. Wow, look at me knowing my Lime Crime stuff. This one is called Nebula. I could not remember the name of this one so I looked and it's called Blue Moon. These are from Sephora. They're called the Volume On Mascaras. We've got the shades Green On, which actually is green, and Turquoise On, which is not even close to being turquoise. Like, how? It's like, 
like, in what world is this turquoise? Excuse me. And lastly in here, I do keep my Better Than Sex by Too Faced. As you can see, most of my liquid liner collection consists of the Lime Prime Venus liquid liners. I know some people have been giving these like bad reviews. I personally still stand by what I said in my review. I think this is a great formula. This cute purple is called Lavender. This one just looks so inky on the eyes. It's called Oasis. Next is this one called Wisteria. It's the only one that performed subparly for me. It's kind of sheer. You definitely need two coats of it to achieve full opacity. The white is called Baby's Breath. And out of the bunch, these three are probably my favorite. We've got Peony, which is so cool. I thought it would be like pretty similar to my skin tone, but it's actually much more pink. The second one here is called Misty. This is such an edgy color. Like I feel so cool when I have this one on. And lastly, we've got this pale blue one called Butterfly. This right here is one of the glitter liners from Urban Decay. It's in the shade Glam Rock. This is definitely more patchy formula. You need to build up for it to show up like very opaquely and evenly. Two black liquid liners. This first one is from Sephora brand. And then this one is from NYX and it's actually their vinyl liner. This one is cool because as you can see even once it's completely dried down it remains shiny. I have two of the razor sharp liners from Urban Decay. We have gold mine which I actually went through a whole tube of this one. and then this one is called bump it's just the plain white and last for liquid liners I also have these two from ColourPop. These are so bad though the formula is so thin it takes forever to build up the color, so definitely do not recommend these. The only reason I keep them around is because they're a unique shape to my collection. Onto the left side now, I guess let's start in the front. Let's first talk about my Stila glitter shadows. Down here we have Tulip Twinkle, and up here is Sunset Cove. These next two literally look amazing on the eyes. They're so shifty and sparkly. We first have this one called Diamond Dust, and then this golden one called Gold Goddess. Next going into my Lime Crime Diamond Dews. This is my newest one. It's called Pixie. Can you see just how bright and iridescent it is? And there's so much sparkle. We've got the shades Aurora, Tearful, Holy Shift, and <laughs> this one is called Gold Dust. I next have this Supernova shadow from ColourPop in the shade Over Again. I've never worn it on my eyes. I've swatched it so many times and it's so pretty that I cannot declutter it. But I don't know why I've never actually worn it in the look yet. I'm not sure why on camera it looks so white. In person it looks bright pink and it shifts to like purple and orange. And I believe these are my last two liquid shadows. They are from Tarte. This turquoise gold is called It's a Beach and this darker blue is Shady Beach. Okay, let's now delve into single shadows. As you can see, I have quite a few super shocks. This shadow was from one of their Disney collaborations, so it's called Under the Sea. It's so cute! Next we've got Banana de Kiri, which again is a testament to how weirdly Colourpop tends to name their shadows. I have this purple duochrome called Ripple. Next is this copper one called Let Me Pass. This one is unbelievably bright. It's called Slave to Pink. And the last is this dark blue called Coconut. <laughs> Again, the name makes no sense. I guess we should talk about my lid lights from Lime Crime next. This one is called Gold Road. This one is called Midsummer. This one is Lotus. And this last one is called Majestic. And lastly, in the back here, we have two jelly type shadows. This one from ColourPop is called Strawberry Jam, and it's so dried out, honestly. I mean, it's still workable. I can still get the color out, so that's why I keep it for now. And this one is from KVD. I've had this longer than the ColourPop one, and it's still so creamy. Colourpop formula is just bad. Okay, on to lips now. In this first little box, I've got mostly bullet lipsticks with a few lip pencils right here. These lip liners are from Lime Crime and they're actually the only ones I have in my collection. We've got the shades Magic, Plastic, Poppy, Poison, and this one is Fangs. Lying in the bottom here, I had these two lip pops from Lime Crime. 
They're basically the shades I don't use as often. Retrograde and the shade Lime Street. Next I have one of the Urban Decay Lip Mousses here. This one is in the shade Noise. Then we've got my Fenty Beauty lipsticks. I do own one of the Poutsicle lipsticks. This one is in the shade Go Deep. It's such a gorgeous blue but it's so messy so I don't tend to use it a lot. I also have these three slimmer ones that came in a set. We've got the shades Frost Sauce, no chill and fog snog. Next we've got two of the Metalux lipsticks from Impulse Cosmetics. As we get into liquid lipstick you'll see that I love and rave about those but these Metalux lipsticks are pretty bad. I originally ordered many more than these two and I ended up decluttering most of them because they are so messy. They're actually in like chapstick packaging which makes them so messy to apply. This shade here is called Feisty and this one is called Chatterbox. I do also have this mini bullet lipstick from Urban Decay in the shade Backtalk. This very fun colored lipstick is from KVD and it's called Marigold. It's so pretty. It's basically almost like a mac and cheese kind of color. Okay, we're now getting into true loves of mine. I love glittery bullet lipsticks and I have quite a few of them and I'm not opposed to getting more. These first two are from Too Faced. We've got the shade Trampula. Next is this purple one called Pixie Stick. I do enjoy the Too Faced ones but I definitely prefer this MAC Kiss of Stars formula. The shade is called Starstruck. It's this middle one right here. It's kind of like a magenta purple. And last I have these two from Huda Beauty and this is actually my favorite glitter lipstick formula. It's so smooth, so opaque. It's just so lovely and it lasts so long on the lips. We've got the shades Cake Day and NYE. These next four lipsticks are all from JCAT. I own three of their metallics, so we've got Tinky Winky, Back Hug, and Piece It Together. And this last one is in their glossy formula and it's called Russian Spy. Okay, let's next go over my Lime Crime Bullet Lipstick. In no particular order, we've got Airborne Unicorn, Serpentina, October, Doll Eyes, Surprise, My Beautiful Rocket, and this last one is called Poison Berry. Colourpop lipsticks now. I do have quite a few bullet lipsticks from them, but I don't love their formula, honestly. I do like the blurred lipsticks a little bit more. We've got a pure black called Aeronaut. This one is Confetti Cake, and it matches my background pretty well. This cute periwinkle is called Trill Seeker. I have the shade Tiana from their Disney Princess collab, and these last three are all their blur formula, which I do enjoy more. We've got the shades Fake Love, Super Bloom, and this one is Solo. 